Okay, hi children. Welcome back again. Okay, in the last video we have discussed the uh, till the types of houses. What are kacha houses? What are pakka houses? How they they have built and for what purpose they have built? These all things we have studied already. So in this video we are going to learn the different types of the houses almost around the world or in the world in a different region in a different place we have the different type of the houses. Of course, houses are the same. We use houses to live together. But in the different place, they are built with a different shape and size and with a different material because of its climate. So then let us learn about that in brief. For example, mud walls are used to build in a desert area. Desert area. Desert means what we know that there will be no rain, there will be no water contained in the almost the full area and there will be a lot of sunlight, lot of sun heat also, sunlight and sun heat also. So we know that even in the summer season for three months for us it will be very um, irritating to tolerate this uh, hotness or temperature, lot more temperature of the sun. Uh, just you assume in uh, in the uh, desert and all, they have to live all the twelve months, almost all the six, more than twelve to uh, more than six months. They have to live in this that much of hotness. So we know that this mud is going to um, protect them from the hotness of the sun or even the hotness from the soil also. Even we know that after some time to get after some a time when the soil gets the heat from the sun it even it gives heat too isn't it so like this these mud walls are especially used in the desert to maintain the temperature maintain the temperature means what those mud walls will not allow to enter the hotness of the outside to inside of the house so because of this purpose they use mud walls and like this dome like structure for their houses in the desert and after that we have uh, stilt houses stilt houses means what i have tried here to draw a small picture of that house so in the rainy season and all you can see in the form and all they have to live um, those areas will be of like this downsides okay downals we say as downals so, uh, there, there will be a possibility of for storing of water in that area. So, what those people will do is, they will take first two pillars with the help of the um, uh, wood or with the help of the iron, whatever it may be. They will take two or four pillars uh, downside first because of the heavy rain there. There, water will come and collect, uh, collect there. So, upside of those pillars, they will construct a house very lightweight house because they these two pillars will save them from the water entering of water inside the house this is how this is how these stilt houses are going to protect from the rains okay then next we have um, Okay, it's very interesting. Next one is, it is uh, on boats, on in Kerala and Kashmir, you might, yeah, I think you might have gone also or you might have seen in the picture, songs and all. Uh, so, you can see, there will be a boat, like flat, like boat will be there. And uh, on that boat only, they will build a small, like a small house-like structure. So, those are called as uh, houseboats, houseboats. Because there they have lot of water bodies. Sometimes they have to spend lot of time on the water or on the boat only. Then there only they have built like a house. So they can cook there only. They can um, heat the food and they can uh, prepare some other food items. So they can spend almost whole day in that boat. So those houses are called as the boat houses. Especially we see this one in the Jammu and Kashmir and in the Kerala where the water bodies are more. In Kerala and all we can see in the Jammu and Kashmir we can see number of lakes and number of ponds are there. In Kerala we can see number of rivers. Okay, number of rivers. So though there it is possible for the, those Keralians they do lot many things 
in the river and i mean with the sea um animals in catching sea animals or some other things they will do a uh, lot many things on water body only so they use this house boats then we have in the very cold snowfall region there will be a small like dome like small houses will be there those houses are called as the igloos to protect themselves from the cold and the snowfall so continuous snowfall will be there so because of this dome like structure no they have a, um, if the snow or snow or ice falls here so it will just slides downside as soon as uh, very early or as soon as possible because of that so like this in a dome like structure these igloos are built in the cold region especially and then we know that where the people will move from one place to another place like researchers or some study purposes or our soldiers okay so usually they stay in the tents tents so people who move from one place to another place continuously from the, for them we call as the nomads and they stay in the tents and they even some houses are built on the wheels so wheel like cart will be there on them they uh, uh, you can see the tanga and all no so like this in a bigger size they can build the house like structure on the wheels also so uh, those are movable mobile like mobile and so inside only they have all many a lot many things like um, cooking food water they will sleep get up on wheels only they will construct a house for those houses we call as a caravans caravans okay so these are what the types of the different houses around the world okay around the world and even we have some roofing system like a flat roof and the sloping roof so in the rainy season and all we have, we will uh, see many um, like sloping uh, roofs or sliding roof a roof we can say because in the rainy season what what will happen a uh, lot of rain will be there heavy rain will be there always so if they have a like flat like roof so it is a possibility to stand the water there only for months together if the water stands continuously months together so there is a possibility of spoiling the whole destroying the whole building so because of that in a rainy uh, areas very rainy areas in a forest area they have roof like this like this sliding so if the rain falls it should slide like this okay and even in the city area and all we have the flat roof because we want to construct another one house on uh, uh, this first house ground floor first floor second floor because in the city areas we don't have the places to construct another own house just uh, just center to that one or just side of that first house so we will uh, make like this floors from ground to upper side so because of that we have the flat roof this is all about the third chapter that is types of your house i hope you all have enjoyed this whatever we have discussed and it's very interesting and you have very nice pictures in textbook you can open those uh, pictures and you can see after that you can write down the answers for what are the different houses you can write what are the different houses around the world you can write mud Uh, the name of this house by using the mud walls you can write uh, in the desert these are constructed so you can make a one one line or you can write so this is a question other than this you can write um, you can solve the exercise part also so that is what your most important homework in this video so after this here ends almost your chapter read out the chapter once and then go for solving the exercise i hope you will solve the exercise Take care of yourself. Let us meet in the next video. Till then, bye bye.